Finding love, a new job, or even a trip to the shops are all things most of us take for granted. But for an increasing number of very unusual Brits, normal life can be a daily challenge. I've got a giant snake on top of my head. My eyeballs are stained. People look at me and think I'm going to mug them, I'm going to kill them, I've just come out of a lunatic asylum. They're totally wrong. This show meets Britain's scariest looking people. I'm like the only person you will ever meet that can hold their earlobes at arm's length. <laughs> and follows them as they try to convince the world that underneath all the tattoos and piercings, they're just like everybody else. The way that I appear to people, there are going to be stereotypes. That's going to be a challenge. I'm looking for someone to love who I am as a person and how I look and everything. Accept it or cut me out of your life. Many people dismiss them as freaks. Who wants a girl with shit all over her face? I don't. But are they normal? I'm just a person. I'm someone's daughter. I'm someone's sister. Just normal. Or are they actually as scary as they look? He's supposed to be a human being. He doesn't look like one. For most of us, the weekly supermarket shop is just one of life's mundane, ordinary jobs. 1627 something, very much. But for some people, even the simplest of life's chores can be complicated. Yeah, I think I'll have a... I'll try a crab then, Crabs please, yeah. yeah. 58-year-old Keith Gordon is one of Britain's most tattooed men. I've got Satan and Jesus on my eyelids. I've got Black Sabbath on my arm. I've got a dragon. I've got wasp. I've got kiss. I've got skulls. I've got wolf here. I've got a skull there. Having covered his entire body from head to toe in over 15,000 pounds worth of tattoos, he finds blending into the background simply isn't an option. People ask me for photographs. Usually my standard one is that one very intimidating. I wouldn't like to meet him down like a dark alley, put it that way. I get some horrible looks. So people look at me like I'm, like I'm mad. They think I've just come out of prison or something and they cross over the road. I think if they don't, I'm going to mug them. Keith might look like a monster, but appearances can be deceptive. Hello, darling. He works a normal nine to five job as an admin assistant, is a committed family man, mm. and lives with his wife, Lisa, and their four young children. Everybody else likes bike things. It's good for you. But they're not sure about his look either. He has too much tattoos. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> you just look ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake, darling. Ugly. Oh, look at you want to like it. Because you go to tattoo shop too much. Good night, Rick. Nice big kiss for Dada. Having lived in the same quiet suburban area for the last ten years, the family are settled. You know what, I really like this one. But soon they're going to up sticks and move to a new neighbourhood where people don't know Keith. It is apprehensive moving to a new area. Here, I've got neighbours that know me, people have seen me around. Going to a new area, it's like starting all over again. People have got to have, you know, see me, judge me. The move will mean meetings with estate agents, property owners and potential neighbours. The kitchen looks reasonable size, but it's, it's not nice. And wife Lisa is nervous about how they will react to her husband's extreme demeanor. I'm apprehensive. I'm a bit uh, worried. If we, we don't know yet where we're going to move and we don't know what people is in there because we're going to be a stranger. Probably the people looking at in the window. Look, look at that man. Everybody looking in the window. Look. Looking like this is always, um, you know, you don't know who the neighbours are going to be or what the people around you are going to be like. But if I look like this, if I've got a face like this, I've got to have to face up to any opposition that might come my way. While Keith is a happily settled family man, not all body modifiers are so lucky. And for many, finding their perfect partner can be difficult. 28-year-old Tours is single and looking for love. I've got countless body modifications, um, everything from skin removal, scarification, split tongue, everything. <laughs> Tours is hooked on modification, but she finds it hard to find men willing to see through her extreme look. Currently, I don't have a love life. 
um, at all, whatsoever. Not even an inkling of it. <laughs> Guys never come up to me, ever. Why? When have you ever been out with me and a guy has come up to me? That initial reaction that she will get from a man, which I think <laughs> kind of like makes men decide to just look at her and walk straight past her. Tours hasn't been on a date in over 12 months, and tonight, as per usual, the men seem scared off by her appearance. I guess it's sort of blending the lines between uh, femininity and the jungle. Who wants a girl with shit all over her face? I don't. So who would? Those who do approach her seem to treat her as a freak show rather than a person. Yeah, I sure. have six lower lip. Yeah. That makes nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. They just want to know what I had done and then they don't want to know anything more. They don't want to know about me. They're just done. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's a little bit annoying that all they want to know about is my body modification. 31, 32, <laughs> 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. No, 36, I've got... 36. How is that? Oh, wait at the back, because I've got one in my leg. Vagina? No, no, I left that one. Done. I don't think people feel that I'm long-term material as a girlfriend. I don't think that they feel they can take me home to their parents. So people will take me at sort of a face value, which is kind of, I suppose, to other people, quite extreme. It's a mild concern that I might not find someone that can accept me and love me and embrace everything that I am and what I do. I believe with someone that's gonna be on my, my side, like part of a team. Just, just to, uh, accept who I am and not even just accept it. I want them to love my modifications. Matthew Whelan is a 35-year-old tattoo enthusiast from Birmingham. Having spent upwards of £40,000, his love of tattoos has become an all-encompassing obsession. He has even changed his name. My legal name is King of England, King Body Art, the Extreme Inkite. Body Art for short. It rings more than a David, a Paul, a Jonathan. I'm covered in body art, so why not look like a body art by being body art? Hello, body art. A guy covered in body art, his name's body art. I've got my face tattooed. I've got various animals on me. I've got a giant snake on top of my head. Some barbed wire on me. My eyeballs are stained. The white of my eye, the sclera, is stained. It's also known as an eyeball tattoo, the left and right. I've got pirates on me, aliens tattooed on me. I've got a blue penis. My penis is blue. You tattooed your penis blue? Yeah, my penis is totally blue. Body Art has big ambitions to set up his own business. But like many people who have radically altered their appearance, he feels that body modifiers suffer prejudice in the workplace. I personally find it really, really difficult to get my head around it because there are companies out there that employ people on merit. There are modified friendly companies, but the majority are, yet again, look at these people. You look different from everyone in our Everyone in our office, everyone in our staff, you're different. You don't fit our criteria, we're not employing you. That's frustrating. Now though, Body Art wants to be his own boss. I think my ultimate aim is to start a small business, develop it, and then possibly go on an international level. Body Art is keeping the exact details of his venture a closely guarded secret but he's worried that the business world isn't ready to take him seriously. Dealing with people, that's going to be a challenge. Is that right? No, it's not. It's a blatant form of discrimination. People might not sympathise with someone that's tattooed their entire face that then finds it difficult to find work. I'm not after uh, sympathy of any kind, and most modified people aren't. We'd just like to be given a chance. He may feel the business venture will be a struggle, but body art is no stranger to adversity. Six months ago, in order to create a smoother canvas for his artwork, he cut off his own nipples. Righty is blue and purple, and lefty is magenta. They're my nipples, and they're frozen. And now I keep them in my freezer next to my sprouts. 
It might be strange to a lot of people, but I'm keeping them temporarily preserved in the freezer until I get the right chemicals to pickle, pickle my nipples. You're going to pickle your nipples? Yeah, I'm going to pickle my nipples, but they're temporarily being preserved in my freezer at the moment. How, how does one pickle their nipples? You obtain... I don't fucking know. Being one of the country's most extreme body modifiers affects the way you fall in love, where you work, and even where you live. Keith and his wife Lisa are hoping to find a new home in the family-friendly area of Collier Row in Essex. But Keith has had negative experiences house hunting in the past. We had an appointment booked to see a, to see a property rung at the bell, nobody answered the door, nothing. The windows were open, but she just wouldn't come out. She just didn't want to see us. She must have looked out the window, saw me walking along, took one look at me and thought, I'll just not let this guy in. Today, the house hunting mission will begin with a trip to the local estate agent. Morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Lisa, I'm Keith, I'm looking for a house. Okay. Uh, okay, in this area, yeah? Yes, please. Right, let me, Suzanne, could you? Hello there, come on Hello. over. Hello. That must have taken a while to oh, do. Oh, it did, yes, it did. What we're, we're looking for a four to five bedroom house, yes. ideally five. And you have an email address? Yeah, it is Ace Crucify. Ace All one Cruci word. Right, OK. People like Keith aren't to everyone's taste. Even after three years in their current home, opinion amongst the neighbours is still polarised. I personally fail to understand how it is someone can spend so much money on permanently disfiguring themselves. When I first saw him, I was a bit horrified to see somebody that would do it all over his face and all over his head. From a distance, it looked like someone got a paintbrush and was splashing him with brush strokes, you know, from a distance. And as it comes in the air, it's got a shape. And I thought that was quite scary. So the couple of properties that have arranged some appointments for you. Oh, thank the you. The vendors are more than happy to show you round. Uh, when we go and view the properties, um, Keith, you know the owners may be slightly shocked at your first appearance. He's <laughs> supposed to be a human being. He doesn't look like one. So I take it you're not a fan. <laughs> you could say that. Keith may have run out of space on his body, but in London, 28-year-old Tours is still adding to hers on an almost daily basis. I'm not even remotely covered yet. This is nothing. You haven't seen nothing yet. Do you think you're ever stopped? Uh, when I run out of skin, I'll have to, I suppose. Every little bit I get done, it, it makes me feel more like me. So when I, when I leave now, I'm, I'm leaving more tours than I was this morning, when I got here this morning. It, it just boosts my confidence to no end. Buoyed from her new tattoo, she is continuing her quest for love by heading to a local speed dating event. I'm sort of calm at the moment. I think it's just going to be awkward. I'm not, like, really nervous. It's just going to be a bit awkward because, you know, first dates are always awkward and this is a lot of first dates in one sitting. <laughs> Two yeses is a match. That means you like the person. A no is a no. That means uh, a little bit odd. Um, please don't follow me home. Tours hopes to meet somebody who can appreciate both her extreme look and the person underneath. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Tours. What's your name? Tours. Tours. Yeah, make sure you spell it right. Hey. Hey, uh, Tors. Yeah. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? A bit awkward, no? Very. It's she's certainly not someone that I would see myself dating, you know, on an everyday basis. Yeah, she's the sort of girl I couldn't take home to see my parents. I'm really into skin removal and scarification. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Can you describe her look for me? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, sorry, you put me on the spot. Um. This tattoo I got done the other day. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I can't think of any adjectives, sorry. Uh, extreme, I guess. Nice, Tyler! Well, anyway, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah it's nice <laughs> meeting you, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. And you? So, I think tonight has been massively successful. I think that everyone's been quite 
polite, but I can tell from the looks on the faces they're not into my look. It's not everybody's cup of tea and it's clearly not any of theirs. Cunt off. <laughs> While Tor's search for love continues... Excuse me, can I ask if you vote? Matthew, or body art, just wants the world to take him seriously. Right, the, li the lip. With your eyes. My eyeballs are tattooed. I never yes. knew they could tattoo your eyes, you know. Yeah, but. It's beautiful. Can, can I just what quickly go back? They? They're black. A passionate member of the Liberal Democrats, the 35 year old has plans to set up his own business. Now he has decided to take the plunge, booking himself into a workshop for aspiring entrepreneurs. I am nervous because I don't know what to expect from this event. I'm worried how people might look at my tattoos and judge me. Needing to look the part, he is visiting a bespoke tailor, more used to making pinstripe suits for stockbrokers. I'm feeling very Mr. Ben at the minute. Oh, really? <laughs> just, just before he goes on his mystical journeys and stuff, <laughs> you, you, you know, before he puts the suit on and yeah. goes into, like, the changing room, I'm feeling yeah. very Mr. Ben. I would suggest, because of your tattoos and, and your, the, the colours in your tattoos, I would say keep the suit fairly neutral. I think combine it with your creative flair that you've got your tattoos, the bespoke suit, I think you can really cut through in a business interview with a very unique and sharp image, I think. I think you'll do very well with it if you get the right business. OK, so every, every part of your body tattooed, is it? Absolutely. Um, obviously, I've got some, some fuzz hair on the top of my head, sure. but um, I'm tattooed on the top of my head all the way down, my arms, every, everything. Every, everything. Every part wow. of me is completely tattooed. Wow. How does it feel? It falls. It falls nice. I'm already feeling a little bit more at ease. I'm thinking it's, it's bloody nice. I think he may run into difficulties of people, other people prejudging him on the, on, the, on the way he looks with his facial tattoos. As he was here today, he was a, he's a fantastic guy. I think if he shows that, he can get through it. But, yeah, he may run into some difficulties in the business world, and that, that wouldn't be right, but it's a reality, it may happen. 28-year-old Torz's transformation began eight years ago when she got her tongue split. First piercing was when I was about eight. I was begging my parents for a tongue piercing, um, and obviously they're not going to let an eight-year-old get a tongue piercing, so they compromised on a nose piercing at eight and a navel piercing at ten. Since then, her tattooing journey has accelerated. My first tattoo was a star on my lower back. I don't really remember getting it done. It was so long ago. I've had so many more since. I've got my tongue split as well. I would stand there and I'd be like... And everyone's like, whoa! <laughs> Tors has been single for a year and a half, and her last relationship didn't end well. I actually had, or have, had four boyfriends' names tattooed on me previously. Uh, the first one I had covered up, which was a bit of a monstrosity. So I decided against cover-ups in future, because you're really limited with your options. The other one was on the inside of my lip, and that wore off, thank God. There was the one on my back, uh, just here. And we're actually still friends, but I, I did have that cut off, and I did put it in a frame, and I did give it back to him. This one, however, <laughs> this one I had, uh, my ex-boyfriend's name, and then he cheated on me and lied to me quite epically. Uh, so I obviously chopped that off, didn't want that no more. I mean, I wanted to remove the tattoo. The tattoo had to go, I wasn't with him, I didn't want it on my skin anymore. So I just cut it out, which solved that problem, and then I sent it back to him in the post, because I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> A trip to the zoo is a fun day out for all the family. But lions and tigers and bears and baboons aren't the only exotic creatures on display at the zoo today. Beautiful day, Jennifer said. Yeah. Didn't you, Jen? 58-year-old admin worker Keith Gordon is taking a break from house hunting to enjoy a day out with the family. Toy, toy, oh my God. What they're doing is that they're, they're, they're kissing each other. This one trying to kiss that one, but he can't get to his face, so he's trying to crawl round him. One, two, three. And like normal, he is attracting attention. This is great, isn't it? 
We've got an audience. More people looking at me. I'm more scary than the lion. Was he his head oh. I'm just a little bit startled and um, a bit freaked out by just seeing his face. It just looked like a, like a snake. Um, yeah. Well, I just think he looked awful and frightening. And I just think someone's deranged you to have that done, so I'd like to steer away from him, actually. For wife Lisa, this sort of attention is a constant source of embarrassment and the main reason why she's so concerned about the imminent house move. I'm embarrassed to see him with him. I wish I can just take it off, but I can't, like a mask, you know, just take it off like that, then put it back when we get inside the house. Originally from the Philippines, Lisa first met Keith in London 14 years ago. I met her um, in Sloan Square and um, she was on her lunch break. The first place where I took her was McDonald's. I just, I just yapped and yapped and yapped, and um, all she said to me, she only said two words to me, she said, I'm speechless. And I, and I thought, that's the girl for me, you know. The pair fell in love, and a year and a half later, they were married. But the man Lisa committed to on their wedding day was a very different beast to the one she lives with today. There we are. My beloved husband. <laughs> In 2008, after six years of marriage, Keith visited a tattoo parlor and got his first tattoo. Make me sad is because what he is now and before is totally different. Over the next seven years, Keith would transform himself as he became addicted to body art. It was a real strong, incredibly strong feeling to want to be tattooed and look like this. Incredibly strong, so much so that I don't think at the time I could have stopped it. I could not have stopped it. It had to be done. I didn't feel complete. I felt like um, I was just um, wearing some sort of mask. Even though you might see I've got a mask now, I felt like without this, that, that, was, <laughs> that my plainness was my mask. And this is the real face I should have had all the time. In six days' time, Body Art will be attending the Hot 500 business event, hoping to kickstart his new business career. I personally don't think the business world is going to take a fat tattooed man very serious. <laughs> but who knows? A slim tattooed man. I've got, probably got more of a chance. Today, he is taking time out from his preparations to visit his family. Five months' time, I'll either be bankrupt or I'll be a millionaire. I'm going to do a business conference to find out how you achieve your goals and look at starting a business and stuff. So it should be good. How do you think they're going to accept you? I ain't got... Oh, do you know what? We'll see how that happens when we're there, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Do you know what I mean? Plus, I'm going to dapper up, and I, you know... I don't want to cover this up. I'm proud. I've never understood it, and he knows that I've never understood it, and I can't come to terms with it. But I've accepted it, haven't I? With the help of your mum. But I'm not happy with it. You know that. I'd love him to be the son that I knew, but I also appreciate that he's chose his own way of life. Um, the son that you know? The son that you know? What do you mean, the son that you know? I'm still the son. Yeah, but I'm on about the outward son that I know. I'm still the same person. You think you're the same person. I'm the same but person. you're not the same person. You've chose to do with your okay. tattoos. I can't understand the nine thing. I should be able to call you Matthew. At the end of the day, my birth name, thank you very much for giving birth to me and calling me my birth name, but I legally changed it, I abandoned it, I took my new name, Could so I, you call me by that. No, I just let accept it, it or cut me out of your life. You got coffee? Yeah, coffee would be good. Is that pretty typical? We don't normally talk about my tattoos, so... When it does crop up, it can get heated. My dad's very much like me. We're all alike, really, but I'm, I'm passionate and I, I believe in who I am. Being one of the country's most modified people affects every part of your life, from finding love to finding a job, and even, at times, your relationship with your own family. I think my parents may have preferred me not doing it, but there was never going to be an option of me never not doing it because I wanted it. 
friends, family, people that get to know me will understand it's what I've always wanted. Where's this? Where's this one now? I think it's Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah Burley Heads. Oh, Burley Heads. Oh, that was right, yeah. That was such a lovely holiday. Matthew started tattooing himself 19 years ago, and he has gone on to cover every part of his body in ink. He has even changed his name by deed pole to body art. He was a, a clever lad uh, in a lot of ways, but not so clever in lots of other ways. So um, just looking at him there, you, I always thought he had the potential to be something really good, you know. We don't go for a dream call, things like that, you know because I'm so agitated by how he's become. Um, I don't know, sad. Look at him there. Lovely kid. Body Art intends to start his own business and will soon attend a seminar alongside some of Birmingham's brightest young entrepreneurial minds. But his parents are worried about the way he'll be received. The business thing, I think, will depend on who he has to deal with and, and how far he has to go, you know? That people would say, hang on a minute, what's he doing here? You know? What are your hopes for his future? Uh, I'd like him to get the business set up. I'd like him to get the business up and running. Um, I want him to be happy. I want him to try and get him financially secure before we, you know, roll over. Body Art's parents have more reason to be concerned than most. Modifiers can face extreme hostility and even violence. People sometimes give you abuse, verbal abuse. I've even been attacked. In 2009, Body Art was assaulted on his own doorstep, singled out for his appearance. Yeah, it happened here. A guy come behind me and, um, and slashed me. It wasn't like a, like a stabbing stabbing, it was a slash. I didn't really feel anything at the time. I didn't know I'd been stabbed um, until I realised I was bleeding. There's a police station just across the road, and I managed to cross the road and almost bleed to death in their reception. Incidents happen all the time to people that are different. It's, it's still hard to get my head around the fact that I almost lost my life for being true to myself and being who I want to be. The doctors cut, cut me open, the scar goes right down there. And I remember at the time telling the doctors, please don't damage any of my tattoos. And um, it was one of my favourite tattoos they've managed to, but I'm alive. I just feel fortunate that I'm still here, really. While it comes with its consequences, for some people, tattooing is a compulsion. Yeah, when I put my shoes on, I, I go like this, I go like this, this bit here, and then I always pinch do this. Keith attributes his to obsessive compulsive disorder. I wash my hands like this. I would rinse three times at the back. Typically, it would take two or three minutes, I suppose, to wash, wash my hands. OCD makes me focus on things um, to the point that they just occupy my mind 24 seven. Keith is a regular churchgoer, but his OCD has meant that tattooing has become his second religion. It's extremely difficult living with OCD. It's, 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 it's the biggest battle I, I, I have. I have obsessional thoughts, and um, at this present time, my obsessional thoughts is, is devoted to getting tattooed, and that is what I will continue to do, and I cannot stop doing that until I feel like I'm complete. It gets me euphoria, it gets me so, so sort of happy that this has taken over. It, 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 it takes me away from mundane life, it takes me away from my problems, and once it settles on it, I just want more and more and more of that drug, so to speak, and my drug is tattoos. Tattoos is a drug. Can I just get a black coffee, please? Tours has been single for a year and a half, and she hasn't been asked out on a date for over 12 months. Now, though, she has taken matters into her own hands. So I met this guy through some mutual friends who I thought was really, really nice. And I finally plucked up the courage to text him and ask him if he wanted to go out and hang out sometime, and he said he would. So we are going on a date. Three days before the big date, she's meeting up with her best friend, Shaz. Hey, hey. How are you, gorgeous? To pick out the all-important outfit. <laughs> wow, he's hot. 
I know, right? Oh, he's very he's hot. Really... He's so good looking. Look at the beard. <gasps> I just Look want to the touch beard the beard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hopefully, you know, he'll sweep you off your feet. He'll keep you happy. And wait, if you don't like them piercings and all the body mods, kick him to the curb. <laughs> Tours is after a man who will accept her for who she is. And so she's looking for an outfit that is both extreme and attractive. You remind me of some secretary wearing a ripped up dress who got caught in a washing machine. <laughs> I feel a bit like a mummy as well. <laughs> I want her to find her freak charming. Definitely someone that would take her with all her tattoos, all her piercings, all her body mods, and is just so happy with her. No. Oh my gosh. I love her. Oh, this is the perfect sexy. That's the perfect sexy. Yes, 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 yes. Sexy, it. sophisticated. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I am feeling a lot more ready for my day now. Uh, the outfit I picked is pretty hot. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm covered for whatever it is that we're doing. Um, yeah, I think it's given me a lot more confidence. I'm still nervous as hell. Uh, but yeah. Slightly less nervous than before. Ahead of his imminent house move, Keith is heading out to the new neighbourhood to knock on some doors and gauge the reaction. Hello there. So to bother you, I'm thinking of moving down to this around this area. What is it like around here? Can you let me? Yeah, it's fairly uh, fairly safe and uh, cleanish. Um... Oh my goodness! Hello there. Hello. Sorry to bother you. What do you think people react like to me in these in this area? Yeah, it is a, it's a bit unusual to see someone come yeah. around like that. Is it real? Yeah, it's all real. <laughs> ah. Most people will probably give him a wide berth because it's the unknown, and you fear of the unknown. Um, well, it's a it's a nice area. I'm not sure you're going to blend in. You don't think so? No. no. <laughs> I've got to say, it's very extreme. Yes, it is quite extreme. Yeah, yes. I like extremities. I'm an extreme sort of person. It's good, though. I don't mind it. It looks no. all right. I think it's a little bit of a midlife crisis thing. Most people have blonde highlights, get leather trousers and a sports car. Um, he got his face tattooed, which I think's quite bizarre. Good luck in your search for a house. Oh, thank and uh, you. just don't knock on the people's doors after dark if you're going to speak to the neighbours, just in case it might be a bit scary. Oh, yeah, I okay. know what you mean, because of the face. Lovely. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. Good Bye. See you later. Bye now. Bye. Bye. The reaction has been mixed, but Keith is convinced that his wife has nothing to worry about. My wife, she admittedly does care. It's really just a matter of time, because over time, people will all see that it's nothing to be scared of me, that I'm perfectly OK to have as a neighbour. Tonight, aspiring entrepreneur Body Art is getting ready to host the Hot 500 Business Seminar. Hopefully, I might network well tonight. What sort of impression are you hoping to give tonight? A professional image of myself, hence why I'm wearing the suit. But you never know what people are going to think because of the tattoos. Feels like going to school again. I'm bricking it. I hope these people can see past my tattoos and take me seriously and see me as a businessman. I always smell like a puffer's parlour. The event will bring together some of the most promising young entrepreneurs in the Midlands. It is a big opportunity to impress and make contacts. I am a confident person. I hope I can engage to them like I've engaged many other people. And I hope they, you know, give me the time that I'm going to give them. I've dressed up, I've put an effort into it, so let's see what happens. Body art is feeling nervous. Hang on, I need to bleed and put all this stuff away then, don't I? Because I don't really want it. No, 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 it's just one second. Hang on. I don't want to be carrying it, because if I'm introducing people shaking hands, I'll, I've got paperwork. But for now, he just needs to find the event. This is some big place. Uh, Hiya. Hello. You all right? How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. You're good? Uh, BJ's, uh, no, I'm JCI. JCI? Oh, are we in the right place? 
No. Oh, am I in the wrong? I'm definitely in the wrong place. The the yes, yeah. that's correct. Yes. Oh, that's the other end of the corridor. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I'm in the wrong place. Uh, like that's never happened before. Are you lost? I am a little bit. This doesn't look like where I need to be. I'm really nervous. I've already gone into the wrong place and engaged people that that didn't even expect me to be here. This place is like a maze. As body art continues to do laps of the building, the business workshop is proving elusive. He is now late for the meeting that could make or break his future. It's dead end. No matter how happy they are with their own appearance, every so often extreme body modifiers encounter situations that can be difficult. 58-year-old Keith is planning to move to a new area with his wife and four children. Today, they will view some houses in the neighborhood for the first time, but Lisa remains skeptical. I'm nervous about moving. You never know. We're going to be happy. We're going to be stressed. We're going to be sorry we moved there. In North London, ahead of her first date in over a year, Tours is glamming up. So you're excited? I am very excited. I haven't been on a date in quite some time. <laughs> Men are normally intimidated by her extreme appearance. She's feeling nervous. You could think, well, that's just too much and I need to get away from this girl. It's always a distinct possibility. And in Birmingham, Body Art, AKA the King of England, has finally located the business seminar. The event is being attended by some of the area's brightest young entrepreneurs and not a tattoo in sight. How are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. A um, little bit excited, but more so nervous, because I don't know what these people are going to think of me, to, to be honest with you. I think some of them are probably going to be shocked, because these people may have never seen anyone with facial tattoos before in their entire life, especially within a business environment. This is about setting goals, and having goals that are both achievable, but understanding the challenges that you have along the way, and how you solve those challenges. What's the big thing, what's the major thing you're looking to achieve at the end of this year? Start a business up from scratch, from nothing. Body art has always been worried that people might not take him seriously, and the majority of the attendees seem more interested in his appearance than his business credentials. Is it, is it, is it a buzz? Is it a feel? What would you say? Is, is it? I hate the pain of needles. I don't like needles. It's ironic that I don't like the pain of uh, needles, but you have to earn your stripes. No pain, no gain. When I first saw body art, I thought. Wow, <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's not often you see someone who's had the confidence to kind of tattoo themselves from head to toe, um, especially then coming into a business environment which is traditionally kind of cutthroat. I think he's got to struggle in a number of ways. People are going to not want to do business with him because of how he looks. But as the evening wears on, the mood begins to change. I mean, I don't know if you guys kind of have any guilty pleasures, like the things that will sidetrack you from your work and make you procrastinate, like... Does anybody have anything like that that kind of makes you go off track a little bit? Getting tattooed, funny enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He might not have the standard appearance of, of, of being in business, um, but at the same time, it's about ensuring that he shows people why he's different and how his difference can add value to them. It brought about six or seven people together and they were all talking about business. It weren't about body art, it weren't about him, it was about business. There's got to be something about you that stands out. So on the, on the positive note, that could be that... that, that yeah, that. the weird thing here, I was, I was nervous and anxious about coming here yeah. because I weren't sure how everyone here yeah. would react to me with my tattoos and stuff, but it hasn't been a problem. If you're saying it's something that can be positive and I can use it in my favour, that's, you know... 100%. You yeah. can use that's, any negativity yeah. in that's, that, that's boosted my confidence, like, tenfold, you know what I mean? In Essex, Keith and Lisa are heading out to look at some potential properties, with Keith hoping his wife will finally see that the move will work for all the family. Hello, that's cool, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, pleased to meet you. Mm, it's a reasonable yeah. size. Yeah. Another double bedroom. We've, we've got a little old lady next door. Keith moves in, she'll probably think it's the Grim Reaper come to get her. Hello there. Oh, hi. <laughs> Lisa, to meet you. You are Keith? I'm Keith. We have fitted covers in here. Lovely. Um, yeah, it's good to have that. Yeah. 
there's not really much to say really. It's uh... <laughs> very surprised when I opened the front door, I must say. Um, quite a shock actually. It's not the sort of uh, chap you expect to come around to look at your house. Very extreme and quite sort of threatening really. Now I'm a cabbie and if I got the guy in the back of my cab late at night, I would uh, think to myself, uh, may have a problem here. I've got Satan and Jesus on the eyelids. Hey, I don't know what to say really. <laughs> Well, they're goldfish. They're goldfish and bits of um, young koi's, but they don't. They're amazing fish. I love them, yeah. Keith seems to be completely at ease. But it is Lisa who has been most worried about negative reactions. Do you like it? the tattoos? In the beginning, I, I hate it. I really hate yeah, it, yeah. you know, because it's, it's my husband. I care him so much. And then he's not like that before. And then one night, it changed. You, know. you said you had a second husband. Yeah, yeah just husband. like I got a second husband. But I just used to it. But he's still the same person. Yeah, he's still the same married. person. Oh. He's still a that's, nice guy. Yeah, yes, that's right. Him. I mean, I'm just doing that is not going to yeah. change your personality. No, is it? no he can't do. No. no. Do you think people would want Keith as a neighbour? Um, not at first glance. Probably not, because that's probably where he would have the problems when people sort of visually see him. But once they actually get to know him and talk to him, then uh, that's a different, different proposition. He's a very uh, likable guy, actually. In London, it's finally time for Tours' big date. Hey! Hey, uh, how's it going? Good, how are you? Not bad. So swing back, forward, and up. Ah! That was so rubbish! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely nervous when I saw him. I was a strange kind of calm this morning until I saw him, and then I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> but no, I, I think we got over that quite quickly. Midway through, and things seem to be going well. <laughs> but there is an elephant in the room. <laughs> he stupidly got one of my boyfriend's names tattooed. I had, if found, please return to Sky, my boyfriend's name at the time. But then we broke up, so, um, so I cut it out. <laughs> Jeepers! <laughs> I sent it back to him in the mail. I don't even know what to say to that. Well, like, obviously, you know, it's like something out of the ordinary, so I'm like, wow. But, um, you know, it doesn't take me aback too much, you know what I mean? I mean, like, it's, it's like, I just accept her, you know, for, like, who she is, you know, it's completely cool. So, on a scale of, of 1 to 10, as you've said, 10 being the best, where does this date lie? To be honest, banter-wise, banter-wise, 10%. Cool. No, wait, sorry, can we, not 10%. 10. <laughs> 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 I think this is possibly the best first date I've ever had. He took me somewhere really fun and we just had a giggle and that was great. And he, he was asking me lots of questions, yes, about my body modification, but not just about, you know, my tattoos and everything. He, he wanted to know what I was about and what I liked. I mean, like, I wouldn't mind, like, can I take you out again? Yeah, no, that would be really cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like that. Cool. Be awesome. Well, it's last year, not enough, like, but <laughs> it's last year. <laughs> it's nice to know that there's nice guys out there that can look past all that and not even just look past it but embrace it and like it and see me as a person that's great it's great to know that there's people like that out there bye bye keith's house viewings have been a success and lisa has finally come to accept that the move will be good for all the family if we move somewhere else people's gonna be you know notice that Keith is like that but this is life you know this is life, and this is that's what he wants. We love each other still, you know. Do you ever feel sorry for her? <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard to feel sorry for her, mainly because I, I suppose I think I look so good. This is the way I want to make a mark on the world I, by by being by looking like this. And Body Art's experience at the Hot 500 event has convinced him that he is ready to enter the cutthroat world of business. It's been going really good. I mean, these people. I feel like I've known them for years. I mean, I come here not really knowing what to expect. You, you know, a bit worried about my tattoos and stuff. They've let me in like one of their own, like, uh, like I've come every month. It's great. People have been really accepting of it and really accepting of me, which is fantastic. So going forward in future, I'm very optimistic.